Hello, I'm Piers Corbyn from Weather Action Long Range Weather and Climate Forecasters and today is April the 1st and it's afternoon so we're not going to play any tricks on you. Today I'm going to report briefly on weather events in March and the success of our forecasts, then talk about April including the Royal Wedding and give a few words about the summer ahead. Okay, uh, our March forecast using solar lunar action technique number 6A procedure has gone extremely well. Uh, this was brought about after some errors in our England forecast for February, which turned out to be milder than we expected. We now understand a lot of the reasons why. Um, in uh, March, there's been quite a lot of uh, high pressure blocking in, in Britain and uh, a big contrast between Scotland and uh, England, which we predicted very skillfully and people have been impressed by that, they said. Um, and most of the weather periods have come out quite well uh, in, in detail for uh, Britain and Ireland. And people can look at the forecasts and what they were for more information. Um, for America, interestingly, there was similarly some dramatic contrast between uh, the uh, northern parts of the USA and South Canada and um, the southern states. And we said quite explicitly in a number of periods there would be uh, heavy bands of snow, which would be bigger than standard meteorology would anticipate from a day or so ahead. Those turned out to be correct and um, the uh, tornado and uh, heavy, heavy storm events in the south also, generally speaking, uh, came on time. The most significant weather period in March was the 23rd to 27th of the month, where we explicitly said there would be some extreme events on the sun leading to uh, extreme weather events. And uh, these certainly took place. Um, in America, we had uh, both uh, snow activity in the north and some notable uh, major thunderstorm tornadoes or near tornadoes uh, in the south. Um, and uh, we also had the formation, when predicted, of a tropical cyclone to the east of Queensland. OK, for April we expect continuation of this uh, high pressure blocking pattern. So it's going to be a generally quite a dry month, but, um, or even very dry month, but with cold nights. And the new in England. And the news you've been waiting for, of course, is what is the royal wedding going to be like? Well, we have good luck for them. It's going to be on the day probably good to perfect weather. There will be some showers around, but in the preceding day or even the following day, and most of those will tend to be in western parts of, of England rather than, than for the wedding. And the May Day bank holiday immediately following it will also be very fine weather. Okay, now for the summer, people are naturally asking what is going to go on. Um, I would say that, as always, the global warmers are going to pop up with their usual stuff, that it's going to be a baking or barbecue or something summer. Well, I would say, look, don't listen to them. They always say these things, and they have no value. Um, we will tell you a lot more about that, but I think it's safe to say that the optimism which will come out from some of them is misplaced. If you want to know more, please come on to weatheraction.com website and uh, stay tuned. Thank you.